So for people who are missing the lesson, okay, I think of maybe of some other will I check here. So we are going to do some tutorial first. So question one. This is tutorial three. Question one. You have a straight line, y equals mx plus c. Okay, this is the usual equation of straight line, where m and c are constant. The line pass through minus 2, 3, and 1, 9. Draw the straight line, first part. Okay, draw the straight line, minus 2, 3, and 1, 9. So this is the two point. Okay, two point is enough to form a straight line already. So 2, 3, and 1, 9. So I'm going to do the first line. So in this case, usually, usually you need a graph paper, otherwise you, you draw by hand. Okay, so the graph paper is easier, it's, it's so that you don't need to draw so much. Minus 2, 3, and 1, 9. So on the next page, I have a graph paper here. Minus 2, 3. Where is minus 2, 3 here? So the minus 2 and 3, you can draw here. Minus 2 and 3, a uh, 3 is somewhere in the middle. So 3 here. So this is minus 2 and 3, right? So this is actually minus 2 and 3. One point. Okay. Another point we need is 1, 9. Okay, 1, 9. So x equal to 1, y equal to 9. So this 1 here. In the middle, then go all the way to 9, 9 somewhere here, 1, 9. Okay, so actually go all the way to 9. So, minus 2, 3, and 1, 9. So, we got these two points. Okay, then you can join these two points together. So, let me erase this now. You can join these two points together. So, if you have ruler, then you can join them these two together. So, I want to use the red color one. So, join to here. Okay, the extend. So, this is you draw a straight line. Y equal mx plus c is a straight line. Two point together, you get a straight line already. So, this is how you. Uh, Get the equation, get the equation, graph of the straight line. So, what's the next part there? Find the gradient and y intercept. So, this one you might understand what is the gradient here. Gradient is actually is the m here. And C, we have a name for this, is actually a y intercept. So just a repeat of what are they, are they. So how do you find the gradient? The formula for gradient, we have a formula for gradient here. So let me use the right color here. M, formula of gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, what is y2, y1? So they have two point, minus two, three, and 1, 9. So this is your x1, y1. Okay, first x, y coordinate. This is your x2, y2. So you put, plug in the formula. So y2 is actually 9. Okay, y2 is actually 9 x, y, 1 is 3, okay, so y minus 3, and then x, 2 is 1, x, 1 is minus 2, okay, so you follow this one, x, 2 is 1, x, 1 is minus 2. So you have 6, over 3, this is 
two. This is called the gradient. Right? This is called the gradient. Find the gradient. M, right? How about the y intercept? Okay, y intercept, you can put it from the graph. Okay, y intercept C is got y intercept here. Okay, so this M is called the gradient. Okay, in this case, you can get the y intercept from the graph. Okay, y intercept. This, this is where the graph cut y axis, eh? the graph cut y axis. When the graph cut y axis, right? So this is called a y intercept. So you can go back to the graph and see when is it cut the y axis. Okay, you can see from the graph, the graph cut the y axis at which point? At this point. Okay, this point is where cut axis. So this is the point y axis here. This x equals zero, y equals seven. Right, this is actually point seven here. So zero and seven. So actually. This is the point y in the set, right? This point is called y in the set here. C is y in the set. In this case, it goes 7. So I can get the answer C, the y in the set is called 7. This is part B. Okay, find the value of constant m and c. So actually, repeat the question. m equal to 2, c equals 7. Right? You actually calculate that. Just another name. The number has a name. m, and m is called gradient. And c is a y intercept. And finally, based on your graph, find the value of y when x equal to minus 1. What is the value of y? When x equal to minus 1. So you have to go back to check the graph. When x equal to minus 1, y is y. So x equal to minus 1. So minus 1 is here. And go back and check. Go up here and see why is my y here. If your graph is accurate enough, you can actually see the y. Y is y. Five. Right? So four and five, right? So at the middle is five here. Five. So the value is uh, the part D. Answer is when X equal to minus one, Y equal to five. You can of course use calculation, right? You also know the calculation. This is from graph. If you're not sure about the use by calculation, y equal to 2x plus 7, the equation online, we find out that y equal to mx plus c, right? So y equal to mx plus c, which is equal to 2x plus 7. So you put x equal to 1, put x equal to minus 1 here. Then y equal to 2 times minus 1 plus 7, you get 5. The same answer as you get from the graph. So this is how you answer question one. Okay, so I can WhatsApp this solution to you. COC3 group.
Okay, so I'll go back. And this is question one. How to calculate the gradient, the meaning of M and C. And this is the graph. Okay, so this is how you answer question one, all right? Okay, any message there? Okay, so this is question one. Okay, so this actually most of the information you can get from the graph after you draw the graph correctly early. So you need graph paper, so don't worry about worry about graph paper because during the exam, the graph paper will be given to you. Okay. Now let's look at question two. Why well, not question two, right? Okay, so question two is similar to question one. The only thing is they use A and B. Okay. The only thing is they use A and B here. Y like A by A plus B X here. So you must change a little bit here because normally we use M X plus C. Okay, normally I use M X plus C. So the number before X is called gradient. So gradient is actually B X B is gradient now. Then A is the Y in the set now. So to do a similar thing for this question. And then you are able to answer the uh, question two, right? So this one I leave it to you. Now you can submit to me when you have finished. And so this is uh, question two. Okay, similar to question one. You ask the same type of question. I repeat the question. So question two, you do yourself. The answer is on page three, two seventeen, right? The other side answer. Okay, I'm going to do question 3A for you. Okay, question 3A. Solve the simultaneous equation graphically. So you're going to draw graph again. What is the meaning of solve simultaneous equation? The meaning of solve simultaneous will mean this means you have to find intersection. Find a common point. Find intersection, the common point, huh? Common point. Okay, find the intersection of common point of the two straight line. Okay, let's look at the two straight line, part A here. So I have two straight lines, equation one, this is equation two. So let me convert the equation one first. Equation one, you have 3x plus 2y equal to one. You try to get them into y equal to mx plus c first. So first equation, you have actually 2y equal to 1 minus 3x here. Then divide by 2, you get half minus 3 over 2x. Okay, this is exactly the form mx plus c. Now you just write them as y equal to minus 3 over 2 x plus half okay so again first equation y equal ms plus c back like this then you look at second equation second equation i have 2x minus y 2x minus y equal 3 i want to convert them to y equal ms plus 3 here 
So we get minus y equal to 3 minus 2x. Divide both sides by minus 1. Okay, divide both sides by minus 1. You get y equal to minus 3 plus 2x here. So y equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, so we have two equations. Okay, so you need a straight line. Now, straight line usually need two points. Two points is enough for you to draw a straight line already. But to make sure that you already got a straight line, I'm going to use three points, and this is to be safe. Okay, so I'm going to uh, make three points. Right, I figure out. Okay, I'm going to make table. Big table first, and then that, then I redraw it somewhere here. So let me adjust the space for me myself. So adjust the space first. Shift a little bit up. Okay, so I have more space below. Okay, so I need three points. So X here. And then first line, Y. And then second line, y equal to 2x minus 3. So I mean table. So I, let's say x from minus 2. And then 0. Okay, and then let's say in our point, x equal to 2. Okay, normally you need 2 points enough already. But because you want to make sure that you have no mistake, you make sure that you already got 3 points, you can join together as a straight line. So let's calculate what happens when x equal to minus 2. Okay, when x equal to minus 2, y is a y now, y equal to minus 3 over 2 times minus 2 plus half. So you press the calculator, you get 3 plus half is 3.5. Okay, we put x equal to minus 2 there, get y equal to 3.5. What about if put x equal to 0? y equal to minus 3 over 2 times 0 plus 0 0.5 get half. Okay, so 0.5. And what happens when we have put x equal to 2 now? Okay, then y equal to minus 3 over 2 times 2 then plus half. Then get minus 2.5. Okay, so minus 2.5 here. So this is the three point on the first line. And then do the same thing for second line. When x equal to minus 2, so y equal to 2 times minus 2 plus 3, you get minus 1. Okay, minus 3, I'm sorry. Minus 3 here. So we get minus one here, minus seven. Oh, sir. Sir. Yeah. Uh, when the x equal to then y. Uh, let's see what what is happening. You want to tell me? Okay. Uh, the last the part. Last sir. Yeah. Uh, the, the last part. 
Let's see what happened. Do I get correct then? Uh, okay, sir, I understand. Thank you. Okay. Then you put x equal to zero here. Y equal to two times zero. Minus three. Then yeah, minus three. Y upon x equal to two now. Y equal to two times two minus three. So you get one. Okay. So this you make a table. I, I put three from here so that you yeah you get some insurance that you are going to get a straight line in case you make mistake at least you discover okay something is wrong. Okay, so this is the table. First, convert the equation into standard form MS plus C. Okay, why you MS plus C first? Okay, so I will set this picture to you. Okay, you convert the equation. There are two equations there. Okay, then afterward, make a table and find out the value of x and y for three point, for each three point. Okay, so now I'm going to make a table again on the next page and draw the graph for you. Okay, so okay, the graph I think is, let me see the range of the, yeah, so can I draw it from the previous graph? Let's see. Okay, I cannot draw it from previous graph, so I need to draw a new graph paper. I try to get it as accurate as possible. So me, let me come up with the graph paper first. Okay. I'm going to come up with the graph paper first. So the graph paper, I, let me change the setting of graph paper first. Okay, I think the cut paper I'm going to set it to minus seven to seven. Uh, okay, no seven. That's right. Okay, so I gonna copy this card paper to you. Okay, copy this card paper. So I got a copy paper, I'm going to put it here to you, right? So come back here. Copy paper. And let me draw a table again. So first line, three point. X, Y, one. Okay. And then y2 I have minus 2 0 and 2 and the table I have is 
and minus 2.5. Okay, from here I can see where is the point here. So let's plot them. So minus 2, 3.5. So okay, 1, 2, 3. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 3.5 is somewhere here. One point. 0, 0.5. 0, 0, 0, 0, is somewhere here, here. Okay, somewhere in the middle. And 2 and minus 2.5. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, right? Minus 2.5 is somewhere here. Okay, this three point look like you manage to draw a straight line. So look like you get, get a straight line, right? So let me use a black color one. So this line here. So try the weapon. Let's try. Okay, no, I suppose this one. Okay, because I had used hand drawing, so it's not very accurate. At least you get this. See that we really form a straight line, right? So at least you know that this is reasonable. Okay, because if you draw two points only, you are not sure whether the straight line is correct or not. That's why you need three points. See whether you can really draw a straight line. Okay, then the second point uh, from the picture the table here is minus seven, minus three, one. Okay, minus seven, minus three, one. Okay, so you get go back to the minus seven, minus three, one. Okay, so minus seven, minus three, one. So this time I'm looking for this point now. Right, okay, I'm actually looking for this point now. So minus two, minus seven, zero, minus three, two, one. So where is it now? Minus two. Uh, do, I, do I make a mistake somewhere? Okay, I made a mistake somewhere there. Right? Yeah, it's not very good. I made a mistake now. So I realized I made a mistake, right? Because let me redraw again. Okay, because I made, realized I made a mistake here. Okay, the point is minus two, 3.5. Where is minus two? Minus two is here, 3.5. So, minus 2, 3.5 is here. Okay, minus 2, 3.5 is here. Zero, 0, 0.5, which is correct. And then 2 and 1. 2 and minus 2.5. Okay, these three points. These are three points. I just saw I marked wrongly. Okay, so then join again. Okay, this is the first line. The second line is minus two, minus seven. So minus six, minus seven here. So second point, second line here, one point here. And zero minus three. So minus three is here. And two, one. Okay, then you join them together. Okay, not very accurate here. Okay, now mind. So, so okay, standing here. Okay, so we have two straight lines. The first line is here, this one. Okay. First line is here, second line is here, 
So where is the intersection? You can see very clearly the intersection for the graph, if you draw accurately, is somewhere here. Where at this point? It's x equal to minus so x equal to one, y equal to minus one, right? So intersection. at x equal to 1, y equal to minus 1, right? This is the point, 1, minus 1. Okay, after you draw the two straight line, and then you find out where is the common point. So this is how you solve the second equation, the two simultaneous equation. So this is question 3A. Okay, question 3B is a similar method. Okay, you, you use a graph paper. So as I say that you don't need to worry about graph paper. In the exam, we provide you graph paper. Okay, so you solve everything from the graph. Basically, just make sure that you get accurate graph. Okay. So for example, you need a straight line. Usually you draw, make, make sure you get three point. Don't just get two point, you three point. You know enough, two point is enough to draw a straight line, but then you want to make sure that you really got a straight line so you make sure that you get another point and see whether you can join them by a straight line. Okay, if you find that you cannot join them by a straight line, something is wrong. Then you make your calculation something wrong already. Okay, so this is how to answer 3A. 3B is similar, so I'll leave 3B to you. Okay. Okay, so yeah, okay somebody noticed that I, I put a mistake there, so I have it, make the correction already. Right. I made a correction already, so the point, you must make sure they plot them correctly. Huh? So the three points are actually here, this point, and then this point, and then this point, then there's another point here, another point here, another point. Okay, so this is how you solve 3A. 3B will be similar, so I leave 3B for you. Okay, sir, you sir. must, yes? Uh, uh, how did how we did get the, the x3 three three points? points? Minus 2, 0, 2. Okay. How to get this point, right? Is it how to get this point here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Usually provided to you. Okay. It's not provided to you, then you just anyhow, as long as it is just three point or two. Okay. So how do you get this three point? Usually the exam will give you a table. And this table will give you some value. You just fill in the fee for your for your for yourself, all right? Calculate this fill in for yourself. Okay, this uh, Otherwise, just anyhow put in three point. Uh, I get I use minus two zero two to come up with three point. Then you can draw. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. All right. Same thing for part B. Also same thing. I right? just come up with three point. Draw the graph. Okay. So I move on to go and show you how to do question four. Question four. They are a bit different now. This one. You have a y, y or x squared minus 5 plus 6 here. This type of equation is called quadratic equation. The one we have earlier is called linear equation. This quadratic equation. And the graph is a parabola. It's not straight line anymore. Okay, the graph is the problem, not a straight line anymore, so it's harder to draw now. Okay, so how do you draw the graph here? Use the graph to find. So you need to draw, use the graph to find here. So I, but before you get the graph, you might get table first. Okay, table. But because this is not a straight line, so you need more point now, right? Not a straight line, you need point X here and Y. Your y is equal to x squared minus 5 plus 6. Huh? So you need y there. 
and you need more point, more than three point. So I'm going to use start with x equal to uh, minus one first. So I'm going to start with x equal to minus one, then zero, one, two, three, I say four. Okay, I'm going to use six point. Usually it should be enough already. Okay, you can get more point if you get the answer, get the equation. So first one is find a y now. So when x equal to minus one, so when x equal to minus one, what is y now? Y is equal to minus one square, right? Y is equal to minus one square. Minus five times minus one plus six. This will give you one plus five plus six. You get twelve. Okay, so this is twelve. Okay, then when what happens when x is equal to zero? When x is equal to zero, what's the y now? Y equal to Zero square minus five times zero plus six, and then you get six here. Now what happens when x equal to one? Okay, so you get y equal to one square minus five times one plus six. Okay, one minus five. Plus six is minus four plus six you get two. Okay, what happens when x equal to two now? So let me put here when x equal to two. Y equal to two square minus five times two plus six, right? It's four minus 10 plus six. I think becomes zero. And what happens when x equal to three? So when x equal to three, y equal to three square minus five times three plus six here, you get 9 minus 15 plus 6. That's the low again. Okay, why by when x equal to 4? So when x equal to 4, you get y equal to 4 square minus 5 times 4 plus 6 here. You get 16. Minus 20 plus 6, you get 2. Okay, so you can continue with okay, more points you want to. I just start with here. So this table is very useful because you need this table to get a graph. And I can, I can get a range there and then draw me a correct graph. Okay, so Okay, so I copy this table, but before I copy this table, I go to the next page and get a graph up first. Okay, I have a graph. I'm already there already. So hopefully this will work, work here. Okay, again. No, no good. So let me get a better graph. I'll get a better graph here. So uh, okay, fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna get a better graph so that you can see more clearly what is uh, going on there. So Okay. 
இருக்குதாங்க அப்ப இப்ப ஓகே மத்திய பவு எக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒய் ரைட் எக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒய் mute your mic okay so that is clear if somebody is uh, have the mic open so you can mute your mic there i think somebody can have a mic open now so let's see how huh? somebody okay hey, mama fahan are you trying to talk okay mama fahan are you trying to talk here yeah? Okay. I think there are two two people missing. Okay. Hi. So I have minus 1 zero 1 2 3 4 and the value I have 12 6 okay. Uh 2 0 0 2. Two, zero, zero, two, right? So, okay, minus one. I want to twelve. Okay, twelve somewhere here. Okay, minus one. I want to twelve here. Okay, minus one, twelve. I want zero six here. Zero six here. Is it not you not know, a straight line now? So you need how to look at the graph? Ah, huh? one is two. One is two here. Two gets zero. Three also gets zero. Four you get two. Okay, two is somewhere here. Okay. So we get this graph. This is actually a straight, not a straight line. It's a good curve, yeah. So you can draw, okay, slow curve. This type of curve is called parabola. Overshoot every. Okay, and then. Okay, let's draw again. Okay, if you continue to draw on the right side, I just happened that I didn't plan correctly. I should make the full curve better. So anyway. What the question one to find? Okay, if you go back to look at question, I want to find what the minimum point of the graph. First part of the question is the minimum point of the graph. Okay, the first part of the question is minimum point of the graph. What does it mean a minimum point of the graph? It's the lowest point of the graph here. So the lowest point of the graph is somewhere, somewhere here. You can see from the diagram somewhere here between three and four, the middle here two point five. So where is this point, the lowest point? So where is this point, lowest point? This point is a minimum point. Okay. If you draw the graph accurately, you probably can can see from here. So where is this point here? Okay, the answer is I think minus one quarter. If you draw accurately, okay, because this is a not very accurate one, right? But let's do some calculation. The minimum point. This point, if you draw accurately, because of my graph is not very accurate, is actually two point five, and 
minus one quarter. So the minimum point is minus one quarter. Okay, minimum point is minus one quarter here. How do you check? Can you do calculation? Yes, you can do calculation here. You can see that my y is equal to x squared minus y x plus six, right? My y is equal to x squared minus y x plus six here. So you put x equal to 2.5. Which on the graph here, you can find that the minimum point is somewhere between 2 and 3, and the center is 2.5 here. So put x go to 2.5, you can y go to 2.5. Square minus 5 times 2.5 plus 6. So then the uh, press the calculator, okay, 2.5 square it, 2.5, you square it here, minus 5 times 2.5, then plus 6, you get minus 1 quarter. So this is how you check your answer, how accurate is your graph, you can make adjustment, okay, see so sometimes your graph is not very accurate, you can calculate, okay, what is actually Answer. Answer is minus one quarter, which is correct right now. So this is the answer for part A. The calculation is by graph. Okay. If you draw a graph accurately, properly, you can also also get some same similar answer. Definitely is less than. Definitely is above minus one. Okay. For the diagram. So this is for part A. Now, how about part B? Part B, you want the value of when this happened to be zero. Okay, you want this happened to be zero. So when it happened, you can see the table here. Okay, when is it equal to zero? When x equal to two, y equal to zero. When x equal to three, y equal to zero. Right? So when it goes zero, two and three lah. Huh? But you want to see the diagram? Okay, where is so you have the equation y equal to x square minus y x plus six y right? put y equal to zero. And zero x square minus y x plus six. Where is y equal to zero? Y equal to zero is a straight line here. This line. Okay, y value equals zero. So you can look at this. This y value equals zero. You'll find that this line here is y equals zero. Okay, where are they cutting the point? You find that they're cutting the point at x equal to two and x equal to three, right? So this is x equal to two, x equal to y equals zero. X equal to three, y equals zero. So the answer for this thing, you get x equal to 2, and x equal to 3. Okay, let me put there and Okay, you get this one. Answer is x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 here. Okay, so this is the graph for part B. So I'm going back to Z this, WhatsApp this to you. Okay, so I'm WhatsApp this to you first. So make a table. You need a table to get the graph. And this time you need more point, right? Not just three point now. Okay. And then you draw the graph. From this graph, you can find a minimal point. For the graph, I can check the equation. 
find minimum point. And then from the graph, you can also find when the graph cut the x axis for two points. Okay, x equal to two and x equal to three. Okay, last question. I'm going to do question seven. Okay, question. Uh, uh, okay, and, and this one I. This is a diff same question type one right, when they give you a range. Fine. So I'm going to do another one, question seven for you. Okay, fine, I leave it for you, right? So I give you just now, that one is uh, four, right? So fine, I leave it to you. Do the same thing. Similarly, to try to look for answer, I can let check the book, okay? Answer got the book answer. So I do something as well for you. Okay, this is draw the graph of two two curves. First one is the quadratic curve. Second one is x plus one from minus three to five. So they give you a range now. You don't need to guess. Okay, you don't need to guess now. Okay, so let's try to make a table for this one first. Question seven. So you don't need to guess here. So table. Me a big table here. So I have uh, X here. The first line Y equal to X squared minus 2X. Second one is Y equal X plus 1. Okay. I think you need quite a lot of points. So you get minus three. Okay. Then afterward maybe a try. Minus one. Zero. One. Three. Okay, then five. So put it here. So I join five here. Okay, so I set up some point here. Okay, this line I got how many point? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? six point. So first line is y equal x squared minus two x. So put x equal to minus three here. So y equal to minus 3, minus 2 times minus 3, okay, 9, plus 6, okay, 15. Then put x square minus 1, y equal to minus 1 square, minus 2 times minus 1, okay, okay, 1 plus 2, you get three. Put x equal to zero there. Y equal to zero square. Minus two times zero. Cos this zero here. When x equal to one, y equal to one square. Minus two times one. You get one minus two. You get minus one. When x equal 3 there, y equal 3 square minus 2 times 3, you get 9 minus 6, you get 3. When x equal to 5, y equal to 5 square minus 2 times 5. 25 over 10, you get 15. Okay, these are the parabola. Then the other one is y equal x plus 1, right? When x equal to minus 3, y equal to minus 3 plus 1 and minus 2. When 
when x equal to mi minus 1, y equal to minus 1 plus 1, you get 0. One more point, when y equal to 0, so y equal to 0 plus 1, you get 1. This is enough for it because second one is a straight line. Three points is enough for a straight line now. So after you got this table, okay, you get enough point to form the graph now. Okay, slightly look at the range you have. I think I can use a previous graph to get the point. So I try to get previous graph. Previous graph will be enough. So yeah, I think it's not, not big enough. So let me get a bigger graph here. Okay, I have a graph here. Really, I think enough. So yeah, table. X and Y, the first one, the second Y, and R1. So this one, I have this uh, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3, 5, right? So the value of y first y okay the real first y is equal to 15 then second one is 3 then 0 and then minus 1 and then 3 and 15 okay then the second y get minus 2 and then zero and one. So based on this, you can plot the graph. So minus three, 15. So you can minus three somewhere here, and 15 somewhere here, one, two, three, four, five. So 15 is somewhere here, okay? Minus three, 15. And then minus one, three. Minus one and three somewhere here. And then zero, zero, and one minus one. So minus one is somewhere here. And then three, three. Okay, three, three. Five, fifteen. Five, fifteen. So these are the points. So I, if you want, you can put x equal to 2 inside there also can. Okay, then you can join them together. So join them together. Let me see, use a blue one. So we'll join them together. Then come down. I think, I think somewhere here. Okay. If you if you find that there are missing point, for example, then you can calculate again and just find one, one more point. For example, I think this part is not quite correct. Okay. This part, not, I think there's another point there. It should be not sure. I, I think it should be here. Okay, there's a point here, missing point. It should be here. If you want, you can calculate and check again. So, okay, when x equal to two, you can check whether this is correct. Or not. X equal to two. 
i equal to x square minus 2x here, 4 minus 2 times 2, okay, 0. Okay. okay, I think it's this one, right? So again, 0, whether it's correct. Minus 2 x square, so it's 0. So it's actually 0 here. So this point should be zero here. So it's not covered anymore. Okay, so look something like this, huh? Okay, this is the graph of the first one, y equal to x squared minus 2x. The second one, minus 3 minus 2, so minus 3 minus 2 is somewhere here. Okay, minus 2, minus 2, and minus 1, 0, same point, and 0, 1. Minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0 is actually minus 1, 0 here. Okay, so at second point, I am actually looking for here, minus 3, minus 2, and minus 1, 0, and 0, 1. So, 0 is 1 here. So these three points is enough to form a straight line really. If you draw accurately, so these three points you can join them together. This three point here, join together. This is a straight line. This is y equal to x plus one. This okay, second line, y equal to x plus one here. So what they are looking for, okay, uh, in this equation, you actually solve two lines. In the situation, two lines, two lines here, yeah? two curve here, yeah? is y equal to x cubed minus 2x, y equal to x plus 1. So we find the intersection, solve, common point. Now, you can see from the graph, there are two common points there. Okay, where are they? This point. Okay, this point is a common point here. Where are they? about x equal to minus 1, y equal to uh, 1, so right, somewhere here, if you draw a curve, it's x squared minus 1, y equal to 1. And then, somewhere here, this point is about, where is it now? Okay, not sure what is this one, okay, like it, uh, 3.2, 3.4, about 3.4, like, 3.4, and then y is about close to four, huh? Close to five, okay? Uh, so maybe four point eight, for example. Okay, it's not exactly nice number. Let me check the book. What does the book say about question seven? Okay, the correct answer from question seven. Okay. Right answer to question seven is zero point minus zero point three. Okay, I made mistake somewhere. Okay, so this is not minus one one, right? Sorry, this is obviously not minus one one. Okay, so this is about minus zero point three, zero point 
to wallet. So I'll draw up my tree here. And then y uh, slightly less than 1 is the zero point seven. Okay, slightly. And then the other one is 3.3 and 4.3. Okay, we draw our cavity. This is 4.3 here. This is a 4.8 here. This is on the answer from page uh, 327, question 7. Okay. So this will give you an idea how to you solve this type of question graphically. Okay, usually you make a table. Okay, make a table for two graph and then look for the intersection on common point. So I pass up this table graph to you. Okay, I think that will finish the first part of the graph. Next week, we're going to look at different type of graph here called the conic section. Okay, so I can stop recording now.